Hi, my name is Peter Scargill, and this is a brief introduction to using Ivona text-to-speech on the Raspberry Pi with Node Red. So, a little background um, at the blog tech.scargill.net, um, you'll see I've been using speech uh, using various packages on a Raspberry Pi um, in my Internet of Things um, experiments. And for the longest time, I've been using Google. Uh, that's Google Translate API, which they've now decided is not going to be free anymore. So I've tried some synthesizers, most of which sound horrible. And one of the guys on the blog uh, pointed me to this site, www.ivona.com slash US. So you are faced with the screen that you see here. A choice of uh, uh, voices in different... Uh, languages. Um, I've picked Brian British because, well, I'm British. And let's put some text in there and try it out. Hello. How are you? My name is Peter. As you can see, it's it's quite natural. Um, okay, so, so how do you use this? Well, the first thing you do is get a free account. And when you get a free account, you will get a free API key and secret key. What you have to do with that is store them somewhere because you only get to see them once. Um, I recommend you store them in Notepad um, because copying and pasting into Notepad will get rid of any escape characters or anything like that. That caught me out the first time. Um, when I tried to use uh, Ivona in Node Red, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't accept the credentials I was putting in and it turns out there was a hidden character in there. So store the stuff in Notepad or some plain text editor, or at least copy it in there and then bring it back out again. All right, so you've now got um, an API and a secret key, which will be used as a password in Node Red. The next thing we're going to do is go off to Node Red, where I'm going to show you what I've been doing. So if we have a look here, we have two speech synthesis systems. Uh, the one I've been playing with um, at the top uses eSpeak. This one here uses Ivona. So I'll let you hear the two of them. First of all, eSpeak. My name is Peter Scargill. You'll have noticed the delay there in processing, and it's not very good, basically. My name is Peter Scargill. All right, let's compare that to Ivona. My name is Peter Scargill. There's absolutely no comparison whatsoever. Uh, the downside of Ivona is uh, that the way it works is you fire text at it. It goes off to their servers and it brings an MPEG file back with the speech, which you then play back. But as you can see, it works pretty much instantly. My name is Peter Scargill. All right. So, in th that's one example. And incidentally, this is um, this is what's called uh, an inject node in Node Red. It simply fires in that text when I press the button. In this example, I have that text there, red one logged in, and I also, in the topic, have the word alert, and that's what happens when you press this one. Red one logged in. As you can see, uh, it's prefixed by an alert. The alert is just an MPEG file uh, that I happen to have on the system, and I can, um, I can pick that up separately. Uh, in fact, I can play any MPEG file, but I'll pick that up separately and put the two into a queue. Why a queue? Um, so my code is made slightly more complicated by the use of a queue because if you're using this to, say, um, speak out logins of maybe ESP8266 control boards, and you want to hear them logging in if in case there's any problems with your Wi-Fi, you can't guarantee that they're not going to all log in at the same time. So you need uh, a means of spacing the sounds out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press uh, one alert 
and inject on another alert uh, in quick succession here. Red one logged in. My name is Peter Scargill. Red one logged in. So despite um, um, no reds need to do everything asynchronously, you'll notice that those, those, those three sounds weren't overlapping. So how did we do that? Um, the Ivona speech uh, item here is not a node, it's a submodule, or a subflow rather. And I will show you here on the left uh, the, the construction of the subflow. Uh, so, just a minute, I'll fit this all in on the screen. So in the subflow, um, we have an input which you get from there to um, a function. From the function, maybe to the Ivana node, or maybe to MPEG123, which is simply an exec node which runs MPG123. If you want to know more about MPG123, which I believe is installed as um, apt get install MPG123, I just look up MP3123, uh, MPG123 on, on Google. Um, and then we have a delete, again, an exec function in Node-RED. So how does this all work? Uh, the sound uh, comes in, the text comes in, and it's processed. I'll show you this in a moment. If it's text, it goes down here to Ivona, which goes off and grabs an MP3 file, stores it on your hard, on your um, SD or hard drive, whatever you're using with the Pi, and then sends that to the MP3 player. If uh, it's the word alarm, well, you trap that um, and you point it to an MP3 file, which you happen to have handy, and you send it straight off to MP3. You then, um, on this output from the exec, this, this uh, output sends something, it doesn't matter what it is, when the function has finished. You um, just delay very slightly and then you delete the file. If it's an alarm file, nothing will happen. If it's the file that you, um, that Avona created, it will delete it. You then come back and via a simple function, you send empty text into this function. Why send empty text? Well, so you send some text uh, off to Ivona and then you've got some more text you want to send in. You have to have a mechanism to stop these all going at once. So what I've done is I've implemented a queue. Whenever you put anything into this function, it goes into a queue. And the trigger to get it out of the queue, if there's anything in the queue, is to send an empty message. So I do that once a second. Now, most of the time, that just comes straight back. There's nothing in the queue. So let's say you've sent a, a message. Um, the... Uh, the one second trigger will um, take information out of the queue and send it off to be spoken. Um, you don't want to wait possibly another second for um, the next item in the queue. So the, the purpose of this function here is as soon as uh, the speech is finished, it will send uh, an empty string into the input to trigger the next item. So you can have a sequence of items coming one after the other. Let me show you how the code works. There it is. So here, if the string incoming is empty and we're not busy doing some speech already, pull stuff out of the queue. Otherwise, push stuff onto the queue. If you see the word alert in the topic, push um, the text star alert star, I just picked that at random, onto the queue, um, and then put your payload on the queue. So alert plus text becomes two payloads. So if we um, 
if we find when we're reading back the queue um, something with MPEG in it, we're going to play that directly. If we see the word alert with stars around it uh, that we created just above there, we're going to play back a particular MP3. Otherwise, we're going to just send the um, text to Ivona. Notice there are two outputs on that function, and you get that by selecting two outputs. And the way you differentiate between the two is an array of objects that you send out. So in this case here, we're sending to the first output only. In this case here, we're sending to the second output only. So um, Avona for some reason returns uh, the file name as message.file, not message.payload. So a quick function to copy message.file into message.payload. That's easy enough. Goes to your MP3, which just simply calls MP3 and passes the payload as a parameter. The two, uh, the delay here is just simply um, a delay node, uh, which is standard in Node Red, which waits for 200 milliseconds and then sends the existing message out. Delete is easy. RM Home Pete MP3 in my case. This function simply resets the speech busy flag that you set up um, over here when you are sending something out or when you are playing an MPEG. And sends an empty string back to the input. And that really is it. It's that simple, there's nothing more to it. As you can see, it works, and it works well. Red one logged in. Thanks.